Hi guys. So today, you know, it was actually yesterday, you know, me and my fiance got into an argument. And, um, it was, it wasn't over anything big, it was just, you know, people argue. And I texted my mom about it, and, you know, I said something that made her think that I was only with him because I couldn't find anybody. I wouldn't be able to find anyone else. And what I meant is, I would never, I tried to go through life and I tried to be with somebody else. And I just couldn't. And those, those six months, six, almost a year, was not fun, you know? It wasn't, I was lonely and I just, I missed him, I missed whenever I was really down, he was always there, and he always supported me, and does support me with everything, and he'll tell me if I'm wrong, and, you know, and yeah, he gets mad, and sometimes he's childish, and, but I, I am too, you know, we're so much alike, but so different, and I think that that's what makes it work. And for some reason, I just, I can't imagine not being with him. And like, I remember when we first met um, in sixth grade, I remember walking through the door and I remember him staring at me. And I remember him and his friend kind of snickering. And my anxiety and my all the problems that I had I thought they were making fun of me and they weren't they were like oh who's the new cute girl like but because I have anxiety I feel like just because you're staring at me it's something bad like it's a bad thing that you're staring at me or oh you're talking bad about me and I I think that that's part of society too is because people assume that and it's just become part of society that just, everybody just it is. And I just, I wish that, like, I wish it would change. Like, I want to live long enough to see the world change. And I want to be part of that change. Like, I would just love to just change the world. And that's always been my dream. And it's always been part of me to if I can just change one life or make someone's life even one percent better that I would feel better that I would feel complete and I would feel like I did something like I did my part in the world and in that way I feel like I'm I'm a lot like my mom because you know she has fostered and helped so many kids over the last decade plus like and she didn't have to do that. She didn't have to help me. You know, she didn't have to take me in when nobody else wanted me. Like, I've been so blessed to have had what I have. And I, I used to not take it for granted. And I used to say, I only, I wish that that people wouldn't take stuff for granted and I still feel that same way with family because whenever I hear somebody snickering or talking bad about their mom or their dad I just want to say like take a step back and look what you have at least you have a mom at least you have a dad that care about you and love you because there's a lot of kids out there that don't have that and it's sad and it's depressing and a lot of kids out there don't have any mom or any dad and a lot of kids out there don't have even more kids out there don't have a good influence on them. a lot of kids don't he's falling asleep but i just the whole point of this is that it's all over the place i know but I just feel so blessed and I just feel so bad because I've taken it for granted and I used to not. 
you know, my mom always told me that, um, you know, mo okay, let's start with most parents tell you, oh, you can do whatever you want, which is a lie. Some people aren't meant to be doctors. Some people aren't meant to be dentists. Like, some people aren't meant to, to be a daycare worker, you know, like, there's there's some things that you're just not meant to do and that's just life you know god didn't want you to do that and so you don't have the skills to do that and that's perfectly fine because you have something that somebody else doesn't and you can make that a job my mom made a job and she didn't even get paid for it and she doesn't get paid for it and i just I wish, I just, I wish we could do like a time capsule, you know, I'm watching this show that has done it and uh, I wish it would show like 50 years from now, like, because that's what it did, it was like, okay, let's make this time capsule, 50 years, we'll open it. And I wish that it would go on to, sorry, I wish it would go on to, uh, 50 years later like and then watching it back or the new kids watching it and I watched the show before and I don't think it does that but it might and I might have just forgotten but you know I wanted earlier to make a video and just tell you guys me and my, my fiance's story like how we met how we got together and all the struggles that we've been through and I realized you know we've been through a good bit but we haven't been through near as much as we're going to to get through um but I also realized that I'm strong I am so strong and I don't feel like I'm strong and I don't feel like I can even say that because there's so many people that make it look so easy and I know it's not there's so many other people that have been through miscarriages and just horrible things I can't imagine but I also know that I have been through hell and back. And I'm alive. And I'm here and I'm smart and I'm pretty. And you know, I'm doing everything that every predi everyone predicted that I would never do. You know, these are just for me to get what I fill out, and so sometimes they're all at the place. I know they're boring, and nobody, I don't even think anyone watches them, but if they do and they get something out of it, then I did my job. That's why I've decided to post it, because even if one person does see this, then they probably stumbled upon it on uh, purpose. They were meant to do that, and so uh, and it, maybe it helps somebody. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to make another video talking about, uh, my story in a different way, not the bad story. <laughs> um, but this basically was just about don't take life for granted and don't take what you have for granted because, <laughs> because, you know, some people out there that don't have even a quarter of what you have so let's just be grateful and pray the world doesn't get worse <laughs>